I wanted to make a really short video I could reference just showing that you can test a remote using a camera. If you have an infrared remote like this and you just want to see if it's doing anything, all you got to do is point it at a camera like in your cell phone or webcam and push one of the buttons. As you can see there's a little bit of light coming out of it. The image sensor in these cameras is sensitive to infrared although they don't necessarily want infrared so they do filter out quite a bit of it but as you can see it works. Sometimes infrared remotes send their commands so quickly you can barely see a flicker but if you turn off the lights and test again, which I'm about to do here, you'll notice the effect is a little easier to see. So now I've turned out the lights and I'm pointing it in there. And as you can see it's much easier. This remote actually transmits for quite a while when I push a button. Some are a lot quicker than this. Anyway, I was trying to help a friend with something and also I have a project coming up that I may use this remote with. And one of the things that occurred to me while looking at this is if you look really closely, you can see there's actually more than three buttons. I had this for quite a while, a couple months, before I even noticed that. They just didn't silkscreen them because they actually have no function with the device. But if I find one, like say this one in the corner, I don't know if you can see that or not, but if I put my finger over that and I push it, you'll see it actually does transmit a code. So even though the fan doesn't do anything with it, I could actually have one of my own projects do something with it, which might be kind of interesting. Just as a way to add more functions in addition to the ones that control the fan directly. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show.